This show contains scenes of violence and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. I get stuck behind the bench in the corner there. I thought I saw some of those uh, those pills we were trying to find. Anything I can give you that back, sir? They're like stuck behind the, between the chair and the wall. Do you see that? Uh, right here. All right, Sid. Do not move, Sid. If you move, I'm going to put the bullet into you. We like Eddie. We want Eddie back. No, we want our okay. brother back. But I'm an extension of Eddie. I'm just the better side of him. <laughs> you, you, might, you might think you are, but uh, that's hey, not Sid, that's is that work out, so... That is not Cyprexa, is it? Sid? You get the fuck away from me with that... Sid, I'm just here to help you out. Here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Sid, I'm gonna give you some medicine. Josh, and, uh, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna open his mouth. What you need to do oh. is you need to find a syringe. Make a saline mixture. Press the pills up in the saline mix. Oh, stop pointing that. You don't need to point that in my face. Is that IV. Alright, yeah, yep, I got it. You mixture? Yes, I did. Alright, jab it into his neck there. Here you go, Sid. Fucking damn it! Careful, fuck! I'm a human being! <laughs> Relax. Don't move! Things will be better. You're getting in near your main artery. Don't worry, you Eddie. It's going gone. to be alright, Eddie. We're bringing mm -hmm. you back, my friend. I'm gonna win this one, Sid, so let me out! Fuck no, Eddie, you're not. You're staying where you are. Eddie, right, you we're can that deal with this stuff without him, Eddie. Mm. <laughs> you guys are... You guys are dead. Mm. You Stay the fuck out. Please, help me! Guys, please! <laughs> fuck you, you piece of shit. going to be okay. Fuck you! You can't do this! They're good people! Fuck you! I said, no, fuck you! You... <laughs> Caroline? Alright, I gave it to me. Caroline? Caroline? Come on. Come on, fuck off! Fuck off, fuck all of you! You're all a bunch of fucking pussies! I'm sorry guys, please don't shoot me! Do it. <laughs> Eddie. Get out! Eddie, come on, you can do it. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, he, he's gone. He's gone. Keep me cuffed, though. Keep me cuffed for now. Hey, buddy, I think he's gone. Do you guys have Zyprexa? I need Zyprexa. Where the fuck is that doctor? How long will it take for this mm. medicine to I'm get right into here. his I need blood more. I, I, yeah, 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 hurry, hurry! Don't do this to me, Eddie, you know you need me! <laughs> okay, keep me, keep me handcuffed for the next five or ten minutes. It takes a while for the bills to take effect. Just sit down, Eddie, sit down, just serve your Brother, brother, sit down. Thank you, sister, for your concern. Uh, he, I think he wanted to hurt you. After a few minutes, Sid completely went away. If I didn't have my family with me, who would I have become? You got a strong pulse. He's doing alright. Mm. Right, just good, take good. time. I didn't give him enough to where it's a danger for him ODing, but he'll be feeling out of it for a little okay. bit. There wasn't a lot of medication. It's okay, Brother Lou. Doc, Doc don't worry. Good Doc, you get everyone. Yeah, so thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, Daddy, don't worry. Brother. I can't let him take over. You. No, he's a terrible man. He wants me to do bad things. Maybe he would have hurt you. I couldn't have lived with myself. You know, he wanted to... He wanted to... He wanted to kill Brother Sterling, and I couldn't stop him for a minute. But luckily, everything's okay. 
I need my pills. I need my water pills. He wanted to kill, brother. And I have some left. Not me. You can't take them all right now. Get on the line that was dead. He's talking about not dead. I know. I said he. I said he, not you. Fair I line. know, brother Eddie would never Fair do line. that. I'm gonna entrust you with your brother's medication, okay? So we can do it together. But, but you have to understand. It was under very rough circumstances. Mr. Quaid said I either had to kill, I either had to kill my brother, or die myself. I didn't want to do it. I opposed to it, and then he took over, and then he was gonna do it. He was gonna do it. I didn't want to do harm to my brother. But it didn't happen. Quaid, I can't do this anymore. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's too hard. Come on, brother. You're stronger than that. I know it's hard, but you have us here to help you. You don't need him. You never needed him. You're strong on your own. You're strong like Eddie. Well, Eddie, let me, let me give you a good incentive for being strong and staying in line and controlling Sid. If Sid ever tries to hurt anybody, I will have to put you down. I mean, there's no way around it. I understand. So it's up to you to remain strong and keep your family safe by controlling your anger and your emotions. Mm, That's all yes. you have to do. Don't feel like you have to do it on your own, brother. I know. All right. and I was still under control, but still looking for Joseph Hodge. I got a signal from JT. He said he was in Severograd. I think a biter got him, and he really didn't sound too good. So Liam, Caroline, and I went there. We bumped into Carl on the way, and Buddy was already there. Eddie. How you doing? Not so well. What, 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 what happened to you, man? One of those infected must have uh, snuck up on me, you know, uh, grabbed me, pulled me back and fell on top of me and bit me right on my shoulder. I introduced my brother and sister to JT. We talked all night longer than we used to, all trying to convince ourselves that everything's okay. I'm sure it's nothing, man. I'm sure it's just like a cold or something. It, you're just weak. You haven't eaten in a long time, you know? You, you, you just oh, need to eat. Eddie. I've had a cold before. It's not a cold. It's, it's definitely yeah. an infection. It's, uh, just... <coughs> Look. We can pull through this. You always had before. Just like your brother. He always did. It's okay, buddy. I I'm really sorry for everything that happened between us, you know? I really, really am. I want you to know that. I thought about that night, and I've replayed it over and over in my head, and I just, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Eddie, I'm sorry for handcuffing you and questioning you and holding you down and, and sending you on your way to, to be alone again. You know, I, I shouldn't have done that to you. There's nothing to it, okay? His sister Caroline over there, she tied me up one day and forced a fucking pill down my throat. And ever since I've been alright, she's been taking care of me really good, you know? And I've been good now. I haven't tried to hurt anyone. I promise you that. 
It's okay, Eddie. I've had plenty of time to think about it all. Let me tell you something. <laughs> we live our lives and we always find a reason to hate another person and we create these divisions between all of us and it's fucked up especially you know in times like these it means a lot to me Eddie that you saying that thank you for forgiving me and thank you for being here with me now all of you just happy that I was able to come here tonight and and make amends you know with you and I'm sure you're gonna pull through <laughs> You know, this is just a speed bump in your life, right, guys? He's gonna pull through. Doesn't look that bad at all. <laughs> just need to let the medication sit in. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I'll be okay. The sun was coming up, and JT needed some fresh air, so we went to the woods near the quarry, where we rested for a while. I wish Val and Bert could be here. I haven't seen him in so long. Caroline, was it? How did you and Liam come to find Eddie? Well, we were kind of brought together by the same individual. Um, I guess without him it wouldn't have been possible for me to have met brother Eddie. What on earth? What? What is that? Hello? Is that? Is that who I think it is? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. You know what this guy oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a voice I haven't heard in a long time. We gave Burke all the details about the current events. We still don't know where Val is. You know, everything will be alright. Everything will be okay. I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I... Yeah. I need to talk to you. And only you. Where are we going exactly? Uh, just out of here. Yeah, it's far enough. Okay. Uh, Alright, something I can do on? Buddy, let's be real. This isn't gonna get any better for me. <sighs> I wanna ask you for a favor. You okay, Carl? Uh, JT and Carl are really attached, almost like brothers. If what I think's gonna happen is really gonna happen, you know, he, he's going somewhere better now, you know, and he's, he's going to be with his, with his brother and with Quinn, <laughs> you know, it's going to be peaceful while we still live hell on earth, you know. I know it has to be done. And you do too. <laughs> Have mercy on me, buddy. I don't want to become one of those things. <laughs> Not like Quinn. I don't want to be alone and suffer until I die. <sighs> I'm ready. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. <sighs> Danny, I'm coming. <laughs> Buddy, 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 calm down, man. Oh, oh JT. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, God fucking damn it! Oh, it's all right, buddy. You, you had to do it, man. Oh, man, I'm so sorry you had to do this.